What's up, guys? It's your pal Gene Lamb here. Um, today, I'm going to be giving you some science and knowledge of why it's very common, or likely less common in Florida, to have a semi tipped. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we're going to start off with this reefer trailer. I tried finding other, like, dry van trailers, but this reefer fan will do. But um, you can see the side skirts right, or, right where that little cylinder is. If either the trailer itself is loaded or unloaded, the potential wind can hit the actual main box of the trailer or the underskirts to prevent low vehicles from passing it and causing that to flip. Like, for example, this Mack truck with this dry reefer, or this dry trailer. You can see there's no little side skirts on the trailer. So now air can actually flow through easier instead of having those little prohibit passing for little cars and ca preventing that trailer to flip. Like, for example, this Peterbilt has heavy metal pipes. It's loaded. Now you can see there is no underskirts, which is a flat trailer. That can have air flow through it easier. Same with the pipes, same with that. But, and like I said before, either if it's loaded or unloaded, like as in this picture of the Kenworth pickup with the dry, vent, dry van trailer. I like the background, it has a train and the mountains. Oh yeah, I like that picture. <laughs> um, even though it's loaded and has those prohibit low modified car passing skirts, then it will cause the car catch it on the prohibit area and the whole trailer and causing the whole truck to do this. So always be prepared for the expected to be unexpected. So... You can check the weather, like, oh, it's fine, and once you drive further, you can constantly check on the weather app on your phone or tablet or computer, whatever, and if you're in that area, then if your trailer or your truck start decides to tip, just like this, then you don't have a choice because the wind took, took control of it. So you don't want to end up like this, so it's best to check your trailer load, see if it's loaded or empty, and if the wind catches it, you don't want to prevent it like this. Alright, I gotta make this quick, so I gotta hurry. Alright, thanks you guys so much for watching, keep the subscribers coming in, it's actually working. But, um, yeah, it's actually working, thank you guys so much for watching today or tonight. Greatly appreciated, I'm glad you learned something new every day. Um, that's why I made a YouTube channel, so in case you like, shit, want to learn about actual IRL situations or something, now you guys know, I am actually here to help you to prevent buying like, from fake items and stuff like that. So, thanks for watching. See ya.